but we start with our Tyler Lane. He joins us now with the latest on the investigation into how it happened. Tyler. Well, Bill and Candace, the fire department says that the situation took place inside of a chemistry lab here at Dinwiddie High School this morning while a demonstration was taking place. That led to a fire inside the classroom, which then led to the school being evacuated. Now, officials say that three students were injured and taken to a hospital for burn treatment, a helicopter airlifting one of them. They say another student was treated on scene and released, and a teacher was also taken to a hospital. Hospital. Officials are not releasing the extent or condition of any of those injuries at this time. Right now, a joint investigation is underway with multiple county agencies and the state involved to figure out what exactly led up to that fire. The several students inside tell us they felt an explosion. Earlier today, Dinwiddie High School principal Robbie Garns read a statement to the media to thank parents for their patience, but he could not answer our questions about the specifics of the investigation instead referring us to the sheriff's department. Was it a chemistry lab explosion? Again, at this time, there will be more information coming out at a later uh, time. Do you know when that information is coming? A lot of parents have a ton of questions. Yes, that is in control of the sheriff's department at this time. Thank you all for your questions. So are Thank they you. leading it? Thank you. Now we're told that the school superintendent was not available for an interview today and would be releasing a statement at some point this evening. We're still waiting for that. Uh, fire officials say students will not return to school tomorrow. Rather, they'll be let back into the building on Friday. Now, my colleague Elizabeth Holmes has been speaking with several students and parents who are describing the situation as confusing and chaotic. Elizabeth. Yeah, Tyler, that's right. We were out here all day and every student that we spoke with said that they were scared and that they simply just did not know what was going on. Many of the students we spoke with said they didn't even realize that this was serious until they were evacuated and they saw a medical helicopter hovering over their school as well as dozens of first responders right outside. <laughs> This was the scene at Dinwiddie County High School Wednesday morning. A medical helicopter flying overhead, students evacuated. It sounded like somebody was coming through the wall. Senior Alana Perkins said she heard a loud noise just a few classrooms down the hall from where she was at at the time. I was nervous, scared. I thought it was a fight though, and then I heard the fire alarm get pulled. And at first we thought it was like a prank or something because like the sound, it sounded like a fight, but it wasn't. Sophomore Nicholas Peters says, it was definitely utter chaos. It was terrible. He was in a different part of the school. There was numerous rumors spreading that nobody knew what to believe. Nobody knew what was true, what was not true. There was kids that were in the actual classroom crying. They were freaking out. They just wanted to make sure that their friends were okay. Parent Amanda Davis says she just wants to know what happened. I'm hoping that we have some type of answer as to why this occurred. Um, you know, and just make just making sure that the children are okay. Juniors Emily and Kylie Doherty saying they hope their friends that were in that classroom when the demonstration went wrong are okay. It's scary and I, I was like, I hope to God they're okay because depending on the, the burns, it's really hard to prepare, um, like fix people's skin. And we did hear from the grandmother of one of the burn victims. She says he is currently being treated at VCU. She says he has burns all over his arms and legs, but he is expected to be OK. She says that he is going to be in the hospital likely until Friday. In Dinwiddie, I'm Elizabeth Holmes, CBS 6 News.